All right, we're going to do some balancing the equation work here, and uh, this is one of my favorite uh, equations because it's one that's happening all the time in nature. You've got photosynthesis with water and carbon dioxide forming sugar, a glucose, and also an oxygen gas. So over here we've got water, H2O, carbon dioxide, CO2. Uh, the plus in between means that you're putting those things together. Yields, glucose, C6H12O6, plus O2 gas floating around there by itself. Um, I've got up here oxygen, hydrogen, and carbon. I've just got a store of them up here. That's where I'm going to pull them from to build some pictures of what we're doing. And down here I've got hydrogen, oxygen, and carbon on both sides and what I'm gonna do is just make a line in between them to say you know this is one side this is the other side and that's the the difference so I'm just gonna try to keep things uh, on this side or this side and, and the whole thing is we're trying to balance the equation so we want this side to balance this side so uh, in that respect here we go if we're gonna build these things we got H2O I, I need uh, two H's and an oxygen so I'm going to pull down a couple H's and put an oxygen there and uh, I'm, I'm going to connect these uh, group them together so that they're they're locked and and uh, by doing that it's, it's going to keep them together so um, that's kind of important to know I'm, I'm not reproducing individual pieces of hydrogen and oxygen or carbon over here either I'm reproducing the whole molecule uh, and, and that's it's got to stay together in order for it to still be water carbon dioxide I am going to have a couple oxygens on either side of side of a carbon and again I'm going to group those then two to say like hey this is one unit I'm going to keep them all together and then I've got this guy um, so I'm going to get a C two three four five and six and again these are not um, actual shapes of what these um, look like the the chemical makeup of these things is going to be um, different but I'm just trying to build them here I'll make a pattern just so we get them all going we got six C's six whoa sorry about that six uh, O's and then we'll need uh, 12 H's so we're going to pull these all down again by putting these all together we're going to uh, be able to see like uh, how these equations uh, are going to stay balanced by uh, having the whole molecule again this is not what sugar looks like it's a more complex molecule in photosynthesis the way that it's put together is almost uh, I like to think of it almost like a, a bomb ready to explode because uh, you know that's what's happening water is pretty stable carbon dioxide is pretty stable and, and when you uh, get the fancy structure of a glucose molecule um, you're, you're just saving up that energy and then it will um, have the potential to release all that energy later so here's um, our massive glucose molecule and then oxygen by itself is just O2 over here and, and that's happy. So that's setting up our, um, our equation. Um, balancing the equation means that we got to figure out how to get enough. Now you can probably see like this, we don't want to pull a whole lot more of those around and since that is like the biggest most complex, we're going to leave that one alone for last. Um, instead, I'm going to look around and say, um, the one clear thing, I can see that I've got six carbon on this side and only one over here. So I definitely need more carbon. So I'm going to turn the cloner on over here and uh, make this a clone and say, you know what, I need to have six. And so I'm going to pull in three. Again, I'm getting whole molecules. I'm not just getting carbon. If I'm getting a carbon, I also need those oxygens attached to it. Uh, so when I draw in a two, uh, not two, uh, my bad, six, because I have six of them, I'm putting a six here. 
not just two, um, six carbon dioxide. Uh, what what I'm doing is I'm trying to to see how many of those I have. You know, one thing I didn't do down here either is say how much um, of each of these I have. I'm going to just say uh, the way that I started was having two hydrogen. I had uh, three oxygen using the one here and the two over there. And then I had one carbon on this side. And then on this side, you can see that I had 12 hydrogen right here. I had uh, six oxygen plus the two over here for a total of eight. And I had uh, six carbon. So when I multiplied this over here, you can see the hydrogen just stays the same. So that's still going to be two. Uh, my oxygen went to 12 uh, over here plus the one more, which would be a, a 13. And then my carbon is up to 6. And, and my 6 is actually balanced. I, I hope to keep it balanced, but, but that's kind of the first step here. Um, I can also look and say, you know what, I need a lot more hydrogen. Uh, the oxygen is all by itself, so since it's by itself, I'm going to leave it by itself for now. Um, and work on the hydrogen because it's connected to an oxygen and again I'm gonna say that this little molecule is something I'm gonna to clone as well so I, I now have two three four five and six of those and so by doing that I've not just pulled in more hydrogen but I've also got more oxygen um, I did that because water is a whole molecule. So if I adjust this now, I've got the um, the six molecules of water with two each for a total of 12 um, hydrogens. I've got more oxygen. I've got uh, six on this side plus the 12 over here for a total of 18. 13 plus the five more that I made for a total of 18 and I still got six and I didn't touch the carbon um, So that that looks pretty good over here and um, to signify that I got that many molecules I'm gonna have to draw a six in in front of the H2O that means I not only have um, Six H2s, but I got six O's as well um, So looking at how that goes together just just review you got the the 6 is multiplied out. 6 times H2 is, is 12. 6 times 2 is 12. That's why I have 12 hydrogen. And there's no little number behind the O. So it'd be like 1. So 6 times 1 is going to be 6 oxygen just with the, the water molecules. And over here I've got 6 times 1. C is by itself. So there's a implied 1 there. 6 times 1 is 6 carbon. And then I've got 6 times 2 would be 12 oxygen, the, the 6 on this side, 6 on that side, so I've got 12. Um, so then I'm pretty happy over here. I've got my carbon matched up, 6 on this side, 6 on this side, 12 hydrogen on this side, 12 hydrogen on this side. I just need more oxygen, and the great thing is that oxygen is by itself over here. Um, these oxygens are, are connected. We're going to leave those alone and just get more of these then. And uh, if I would clone that, I've now got um, 10. I'm just going to make it an infinite cloner and pull a couple more out. I've now got 12, 14, 16, and I'm shooting for 18. So I can now make this an 18 by making this a 6. So the balanced equation for photosynthesis is not just H2O plus CO2 gives sugar and oxygen. Um, the, the balanced equation is actually that 6 molecules of water plus 6 molecules of carbon dioxide yield 1 molecule. It's a massive kind of ready to explode molecule of sugar plus the 6 molecules of O2 oxygen gas. And uh, that's the basics on how you would balance an equation.